When I tell people that I work at the Evangelical and Reformed Historical Society, their first question is usually, well, what do you do there? Today, we're going to take a look. Hi, I'm here at the Central Archives of the Evangelical and Reformed Historical Society, where we take pride in preserving historical records relating to the former Evangelical and Reformed Church and its predecessor denominations. So today we're going to take you on a little bit of a video tour of some of the things that we do here in the archives. This is the box pertaining to First Bethany. So this is going to have materials from Bethany Evangelical and then also from the time period of Bethany Evangelical and the First Reformed Church merging in 1953. So in this file, um, what you will find um, in another typical church record group is we have annual reports um, of the church coming from the consistory or the council from 1956 to 2006. Uh, we have a various snapshot of church bulletins. Um, and again, most popular by genealogists, you're going to find uh, records of baptisms, uh, confirmations, and marriages, and deaths. Pastoral register, so if you're looking at the history of the church itself and the pastors that served, you'll find information there. Uh, we also have some uh, lists of deacons. Um, and then we have membership lists and also when they, they joined the church. Now this book is, is written in German, um, so this may require some translation or some careful looking at the records and we can assist you with that here at the Historical Society. Uh, but here we're looking at marriages uh, that took place starting in 1908 and ending in 1911. This is the death register here. Um, this is particularly helpful and popular with genealogists. Um, in this case, um, it's indicating where the person um, died, where they were born, uh, the date of their birth, and uh, place of their birth, um, date of their death, and also date of their burial. So this is giving an individual quite a bit of information um, on these individuals. This book also has some family registers that are completed in the back, which we don't often see in church records. These are considered to be gold for genealogists because a lot of times it will list the family name, a lot of information, particularly where they may have come from um, in Germany, and also list the names of their children when they were born, when they were confirmed. Uh, this pastor did a really fantastic job um, highlighting some of the early families of Bethany Evangelical Church. So this is a very nicely done uh, family register. So hopefully you learned a little bit about the Evangelical and Reformed Historical Society and what we do here and what we can provide to you. We have a number of resources that are available when you come in. Uh, if you are not able to come in, you are certainly welcome to correspond with us either through our website at erhistoricalsociety.org. You can find all of our contact information on our website um, in terms of email, our social media, and our phone number where we can be reached. Certainly this work couldn't be done without the generous support of our donors. And should you feel so inclined to give to this society to help support all of the materials that we purchase to supply and organize our collections, and also to continue to pay the salaries of our wonderful staff, uh, you may visit our website to make a tax-free donation. Thank you.